Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Well, it's time for another Tools and Tech Tuesday, and today I thought we would mess around with our signal strength and our speed on our different Wi-Fi devices and see what we can do, do some experimentation to see if we can improve things. If you want to do the same thing and check your signal strength, you'll need a few different apps. First of all, it can be really helpful to know where your cell phone tower is that you're connecting to. And for that, you can use some websites, but the thing that I find to be the easiest is a, an app called Open Signal. There's an icon on the bottom that looks like an arrow. You tap on that and it will point in the direction of the cell phone tower that you're connected to. It's as easy as that. So if you're connected to a tower over in that direction, you don't wanna put this over on the opposite side of the house. It would be better to have it over here somewhere, preferably up high, preferably by a window. The second app that you'll need is the T-Mobile Home Internet app, and that's available on iOS or Android, and you just download it, and it'll actually show you what your signal strength is, just like you see the bars on the top of your phone. It'll show that in the app, so you know how strong your signal is between the tower and your gateway. The next link in the chain that you might want to check is the signal strength between your gateway or router and the devices that you have hooked up, such as your TV, tablet, computer, phone, whatever. For that, on iOS you're kind of limited, but you could use something like Wi-Fi Sweet Spots or Apple's Airport Utility. On Android, you could use something like Wi-Fi Analyzer, which is what I'll be using today. So I should probably give a brief overview of how the internet works at its basic level and that's through something called hops now in the prehistoric days before texting we used to do this thing called passing a note so if you wanted to send something to your friend who was maybe let's say you're in the back of the room they're in the front maybe even all the way over to the other side or something you would write out a note on a piece of paper and you would pass it to the person in front of you or to the side of you or whatever when the teacher wasn't looking and then that person, when the teacher wasn't looking, would hand it off to the next person going in that direction. So the internet works in a very similar way. It's called hop. So each person that handed off that piece of paper would be a hop. So let's say you have a T-Mobile home internet service and you have a router hooked up and you're using your Xbox. Well, it goes from your Xbox to your router, to your T-Mobile gateway, to the cell phone tower, and then that gets sent to the T-Mobile network and then from there it can end up going through a lot of different hops on its way to its destination if any one of those hops happens to be busy when your data is coming through it can delay that data transmission just like if you were passing a note in class and a kid was finishing up what he was writing because he was busy or he's passing another note then that's just going to slow down your message getting to where it needs to go. So that can happen on the internet too. I also want to clear up a point of confusion that I've heard people in real life and I've seen stuff on the internet, people saying that they have 5G on their router and it's confusing, but here's the difference. There is a difference between 5G and 5 gigahertz. Now 5G, when you hear T-Mobile or Verizon talking about 5G, G stands for generation. So it's the fifth generation of cell phone technology. And five gigahertz is the frequency that is being transmitted from a device or received by a device. So this thing has the ability to use the fifth generation, so 5G network from T-Mobile, but it also has the ability to transmit in either 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz. The five gigahertz you'll see abbreviated as 5GHZ or sometimes 5GHTZ, that's five gigahertz. And what that is, is it's the frequency that the waves are being broadcast at. So that's how many times you will see waves going past an antenna in a given second. I don't know if there's different terminology for when you're talking about radio waves versus when you're talking about waves in the ocean, but if you're talking about waves in the ocean, you could describe the top as the peak or the crest, and you could describe the bottom part as the trough. 
One wave could be described as peak to peak or trough to trough. And five gigahertz is five billion waves going by in one second. 2.4 gigahertz, on the other hand, is a little bit less than half of that at 2.4 billion waves going past the antenna in a second. So the five gigahertz on your Wi-Fi router is referring to the frequency that those waves are being broadcast and received at. Whereas the 5G that T-Mobile and Verizon and other carriers talk about is referring to the fifth generation of cell phone technology, which uses a different frequency besides five gigahertz. Now there's supposed to be directional antennas inside of this thing, so it would make sense when people say that you can turn it from side to side and affect your signal quality. I've also heard that you can set it on its side and affect your signal quality. We'll test all that. Okay everybody, we are on the old one. This is the first generation T-Mobile Home Internet Gateway. And here is what we have for the LTE signal strength. You can see you get a meter that's very similar to what you see like on the top of your phone when you're looking at your LTE signal. So that's what we have with the LTE on the T-Mobile original gateway. Now let's try the 5G gateway. All right, everybody, we are on this gateway with the iPad and here's what we get for our signal quality. So really, it's about the same signal quality. Now, I don't have 5G in my neighborhood right now, so uh, this is the same LTE right now. I don't know why it doesn't just say LTE, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm connected to, LTE, and we got the same signal quality as the old, uh, the old thing here. All right, now, Next question is, well, with the other gateway, the old one, saying that you're getting four out of five bars, what kind of speeds are we getting? Because it's still LTE, but how much difference do the particular radios and antennas that are built into these things make? Let's see what we get. got an error that time so let's try it again and there we go all right everybody I pulled the old one out of our way so we can experiment with this one a little bit so the first thing is I've heard that if you move it from side to side it can change our signal and as you've seen we have four out of five bars on here so let's see if we can't cha change that just by turning this a little bit to the side Okay, so that's rather interesting. Just to verify, with this thing turned and weird, back down to three bars, we still got a pretty decent speed. So, in fact, I think it was faster than our last speed when it was aimed correctly. All right, we're still aimed off axis to give us three bars instead of five, four. So let's go ahead and test, see what we get. So that last one must have been just a fluke because we're kind of back down to uh, 43 uh, for the 
with download I mean you can see the speeds there so we're back down to kind of what you might more expect with only three bars I think we had it about here so let's try went in just a little that way and see what happens Okay, now we're back up to four bars, but we're no better than we were, so we're not at five bars. Uh, let's try turning it a little more and see what happens. Let's try that. All right, now that we have it aimed where we were getting four bars out of the five, let's see what kind of speed we get. results I almost forgot I did hear that if you turn this sideways it can improve your signal boy that rolls Let's see if I can get something to stick under it all right now let's see what kind of signal we get now nope so being on the side is actually worse than standing up straight in my case but you might want to try it because it obviously does affect your signal quality and there you go i hope you found this video useful and interesting i hope it helps you get the most performance out of your equipment that you can in your situation if you have any questions for me drop them in the comments i'd be happy to help any way i can let's talk down there i want to thank you all for watching and subscribing and commenting i really appreciate your time so thanks again for watching the video, and I'll see you next time. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Well, it's another... If you want to do the same thing and check your speeds on your T-Mobile Wi-Fi... Um, if you want to do the same thing and do the same... Then there's another link that goes from through the wire if you want to do the same thing and check your signal strength you'll, ne you'll need a eh, strength you'll need a couple apps whether i <laughs> for one if you're on android or ios you, either way you're gonna need <laughs> that if you're on ios you could either use something like airports uh <laughs> one of those hops is overwhelmed and busy at the time when your message comes through it could delay your data going through just like some kid sitting there and you're trying to get their attention and they're saying wait a minute wait a minute i'll hide it, give it just <laughs> now i also want to clear up a point of confusion now i also want to point up point up now i also want to hear now i also want to point up a clear point a clear up <laughs> uh.